Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. Today we will see the module on management of resources. So this is a very important topic and uh, my name is Rekha, I am from Food Service Management and Dietetics Department. To start with, resource management is the process by which business, businesses manage their various resources effectively. Those resources can be intangible like people and money and tangible like the equipment, materials and finances etc. It involves planning so that the right resources are assigned to the right tasks. Managing resources involves schedules and budgets for people, projects, equipments and supplies. Resources are factors accessible to a food service manager for the production process and service of food and these are limited. Some resources get used up and finished with time. So they have to be continually generated to have a constant supply. The other resources get used up or depreciate in value and utility and should be maintained till it gets unfit for use and should be replaced. For the efficient functioning of catering institutions, there are nine kinds of resources that should be managed properly. Now we will just see on the what will be the objectives of uh, this module to acquire a thorough knowledge on management of various resources, to know about the key elements of resource management, to ensure the effective utilization of resources and to plan and allocate resources for future use. Now we will see what are the key elements for this resource management. The resources themselves. So first the resources themselves must be properly managed. Before one can manage a resource, one must know what a resource is. A resource may be a human resource, say employee, a financial resource, a product to be sold or obtained, skills, technology, information or elements for production. The second one is having the proper data. The data required for effective resource management includes demand for resources, availability of resources and how the resources will fit into the demands. Next will be the utilization and the allocation of resources. Resources must be used to the maximum capacity for the minimum amount of cost. Tasks should be allocated to resources in a fair and a balanced manner. Among the crucial elements of resources management, the following are the most key principles. Resource plan. Every project plan should have a resource plan as its components. The resource plan should contain all aspects of your project from beginning to end and that pertain to resources required. Resource breakdown structure. Here you will break down the resources required to complete the project in a hierarchy as you would in a work breakdown structure. Responsibility assignment matrix. Third one is this is where the resources or the organizational breakdown structure meets up with the work breakdown structure to assign the responsibility to the various branches in the hierarchy. Next is resource over allocation. So this should be looked on. Over allocation of resources is when a resource has been assigned more work than can be completed during normal work hours. So this resources allocation often leads to overtime working and overspending on financial resources. So resource histogram. This graphic representation can cue project managers whether there are any resources being over allocated. So next is resource dependency. See if two tasks require the same resource to complete them then these tasks are resource dependent. If a task can only be completed by one resource it is resource dependent. So a resource dependent task has particular constraints linking to it to a particular resource. So now we will see on the nine factors which should be effectively management for of the resources. So the first and the foremost one is management. So management here refers to the effective management of the resources. Availability of resources merely does not lead to success of a food industry, but it need to be skillfully utilized by using necessary management techniques to be fruitful. The manager should have thorough knowledge of their existing competitors and should know the technique of grasping the new challenges. Thus, the most important resource for any establishment is its management skill and its maximum utility. So the efficient usage of each resources present in a food industry should be concentrated. Next aspect is the money. 
so all types of organization or industries are established with goal of profit making to achieve this there has to be money to invest and spend in order to acquire the other resources needed for the production and service of food once the food is made available to the customers then money will start coming back into the organization therefore it is important to know the various means of raising the money for the organization prior to the utilization of resources the finance can be obtained through four ways namely like borrowing partnership higher purchase and saving so now i'll just give a hint on where for what are the sources of finance from where you will get through so first is borrowing a number of facilities have been provided by government and non government organizations to encourage small enterprise in each state so there are many schemes where capital can be raised at low interest and can be used by non commercial institutions which are service oriented and serves for social causes like starting catering business for handicapped women widows and other industries so it can also be borrowed through securities so borrowing sources can include nationalized banks and government finance companies who provide loan at low interest rates nationalized banks so finance is provided for all entrepreneurs at conventional interest in state bank of india and other state level banks over the country including both rural and urban areas additionally they also impart regular training programs for entrepreneurs and for common people the next one is indian council of women entrepreneurs so this institution is a national as association which caters to the needs of women in very small household and medium sized enterprise Next is the small scale industries development bank of india this bank again lends finance to the small scale industry next is the state level organizations there are state level organizations which enthusiastically take part in encouraging self employment such as association of women entrepreneurs of various states and for children corporation in some cases capital can be raised through money received on retirement so next is partnership a type of business organization in which two or more individuals pool money skills and other resources and share profit and loss in accordance with terms of partnership agreement next is higher purchase so from the word itself you will know the meaning higher purchase is a method of financing of the fixed asset to be purchased on future date under this method of financing the purchase price is paid in installments ownership of the asset is transferred after the payment of the last installment the so next is savings so in this mode of source the owner uses the savings at the start of business until the enterprise earns profit to pay pay back it is important to ensure that investments made in food service industries provides expected returns the main money raised at the start of business should be paid back at the earliest with the minimum interest so this is possible only when the money is invested carefully in equipment material space and other resources so there is general criteria for making investments decisions for a catering establishment so the first point would be the space available within the building there should be adequate space for expected number of customers and the type of service to be offered in the short as well as in the long run next will be the economy effective usage and control of money put in operating and maintenance cost is important in all areas and equipment installed the cost over these aspects can be minimized by reducing hours of work required for operation by installing devices for day to day jobs third one will be flexibility there should be flexibility in designing installations and space durability materials and equipment should be long lasting then continuity the effective use of areas equipment and materials within the organization if these resources are not used properly then it will lead to wastage the sixth will be safety measure safety is of prime importance when making any investment decisions so in the next important aspect is space so how you have to allocate space how you have to decide upon the spacing activities so this is the most expensive resource which should be thoughtfully used in an existing building spaces can be renovated and arranged according to the work areas along with the equipment to achieve smooth workflow 
the work environment should be conducive for working the areas in a commercial area is more expensive when compared to outskirts of the city certain points should be kept in mind regarding utilization of spaces say for example type of food service for example whether self service or waiter service target customers and customer turnover per day the type of menu whether choice based or it is a set menu next timing of food service whether what is the peak hours in a food service establishment number of staff and specialized skill required for that particular activity flexibility then design an area of the space so next will be the materials in a food service organization the commonly used materials are food materials like uh, uh, fuel tableware linen and cleaning materials so food material constitutes perishables like milk fruits and vegetable which gets easily spoiled and non vegetarian food etc next non perishable like grains and pulses while purchasing food material certain points should be considered for maximum usage so we'll now see what are the points which should be considered buy seasonal foods which fresh and wholesome in condition percentage of edible portion should be considered while buying importance for quality variety and to the packaging till the end use for which it is purchased should be utilized quantity purchased must be appropriate to the storage area and the types of storage facilities available the turnover of the food material should also be considered purchase of the ingredient should be done after thoroughly relating to the menu this is very important in case of purchase of perishable commodities in general food materials is the best utilized when loss is prevented during receiving storage preparation cooking service and clearing This is indicated by excessive plate waste, insufficient food to meet the demand, excessive leftovers, a drop in demand, and so on. So next, the thing which is very much important in management is linen and tableware. So linen includes kitchen cloths, duster, and table linen. The washing procedure requires sterilization for half an hour in detergent water. rising out the detergent and drying for reuse these linen should be changed every day the most efficient way to utilize them is to give two dusters and a kitchen cloth to every staff member working in the kitchen and in dining area so that they are responsible for their items use of table linen however is fast being replaced by easy clean materials or disposables Most cafeterias, coffee shops and even restaurants now use plastic coated table mats or disposable papers and mats to offset the high laundering cost of linen. In non-commercial institutions like school and colleges, tray service is done which eliminates the need for any table mat or linen. The next important aspect in management of resources is staff. So the service oriented food service institutions are totally dependent on the skills and motivation of their willingness to make the establishment succeed so it mostly depends upon the staff no amount of mechanization can give that personal to lure customers to a food service staff in a food service institution have various levels of literacy and exhibit little to highly specialized skills according to the requirements of various activities involved in food production and service getting the work done by the people and making their individual jobs and goals fit well into those of the establishments and according to the requirements of customers is a difficult but challenging one next important aspect in resource management is time all the different types of activity whatever its nature is to be performed within a given period of time in a catering industry where food has to be served at specific times the pressures build up for staff in kitchen service and clearing areas from time to time often supervisors and managers have to work long hours to plan and schedule jobs to keep it ready in advance to have a smooth workflow and proper record helps to have attention on time periods which were used inadequately and during which useful activities could be performed an analysis will show the amount of time which may have been spent on 
say for examples waiting for ingredients instructions equipment and maintenance or just looking out of the window between uh, the, the grating machine and putting the next slot into it so next one, one more example will be doing other people's job because they are absent or incapable of handling their work load or simply because of a friendly gesture to a newcomer so once upon a time wasting areas have been pinpointed after a tough analysis of free jobs decisions regarding their future use can be made for the manager these may involve a change in management style if too much control and unnecessary interference in routine and activity has led to a disinterested workforce who ideals have productive to be deliberately delegation of simple tasks giving greater attention to planning and organization periodic reevaluation of goals to eliminate activities which are of more necessary determining training needs and planning them to training train staff when required making time and activity plans for each type of job to give clear idea of what is expected of the people on their job reasons for time wasting in kitchens and service area could be late at work no production plans in advance inadequate stock because of delayed ordering or non availability equipment not well maintained or not right for the job improperly planned spaces and work centers not enough motivation for the staff personal problem affecting the work no how of the job not known properly fear of annoying superiors laziness has a personality trait automatic leadership with excessive supervision and interference in the work one more is improper kitchen type that is whether the u shaped or l shaped or rectangular whatever it is then more than one boss leading to confusion about what to be done and how so the next important aspect in resources management is energy so how effectively you have to use the energy It is important to distinguish between the fuel sources used, the food source, and human effort. Previously, these resources were available in plenty, and people did not even think of saving coal, oil, or wood or gas, which was commonly used of cooking purpose. Saving sources of energy is a habit more than something that can be taught. The change of attitude towards conservation is more feasible when the supplies are dwelling. It is. act that people awareness regarding energy saving gets enhanced when the prices of fuel being used raise beyond their means when there is none available in the market next is in energy we'll see the about the human energy a look into areas where human effort to be wasted is worthwhile though the work of the people cannot be so closely and objectively monitored as that of physical structure arrangement and equipment a brief resume of the factors which may affect the amount of energy people waste at work will help us a guideline for necessary action in any program involving its conservation these are the factors which inefficiently planned layouts which involve extra movement while working unnecessary waste of energy uncomfortable working conditions leading to slow movements and fatigue improper scheduling of work and time for staff ill health of employees making them feel run down and more prone to frequent sickness and accidents poor supervision leading to wrong methods of working using up extra effort and time emergency situation where a lot of energy is wasted in panic fear and anger wrong leadership which creates fear anxiety and lack of confidence in people at work next is the fuel energy every institutional kitchen should have at least two types of fuels for food production and service this is because if one fails due to unforeseen circumstances the other can be used and work can go on without affecting the service the, we'll see the type of uh, fuels liquefied petroleum gas there are two types of fuels commonly used for food production liquefied petroleum gas and electricity in small small sized establishment at least two cylinders are kept for future use lpg cylinders are available in three sizes each suitable for different sized establishment 
vendors who supply freshly cooked or finished products and station themselves on road sites market corners use the smallest sites containing 2 to 3 kg lpg electricity this is an important and useful fuel used for heating equipment such as steamers ovens bain marie and trolley and other holding equipments food warmers automated equipment dishwashers etc modern equipment design also have offered equipment geared to use both fuels together such as electric oven and a hot plate in addition to ga gas burners in the same model traditional fuels different types of traditional fuels are used in rural areas even today like solar energy coal wood and fuel balls made out of coal dust hay and cow dung solar energy and biogas solar equipment including cookers are being market to encourage the increased use of this fuel source in the most sophisticated catering yeah, another in situations to describe solar energy and biogas as fuels the term on conventional energy source or alternative source been used cow dung balls and cakes are used maximizing use of fuel resources requires a golden rule of switching on and saving and switching off wastages to be followed to the later causes for fuel energy wastage in kitchen is keeping ovens stoves or grills switched on before the usage time fuel may be wasted in equipment if lighted for full heat irrespective of the size of the container in which the cooking is done when the temperature of cooking is higher than is necessary for a particular food wastage takes place improper or no thawing of food prior leads to wastage methods of cooking involving preparation of food long before the time of service requires food to be held hot for long period besides affecting food quality fuel bills go up use of high watts bulbs in areas where lesser light is sufficient keeping exhaust fans on even after preparation so once the reasons for high cost of fuel have been established it is possible to improve the situations and bring down the cost to the benefit of both the establishment and the customer the staff also help to save time as well as leading to greater efficiency it would therefore appropriate to list the possible ways of saving energy in a food establishment some suggestions say like invest equipment designed to switch off fuel supply automatically when cooking is done use of thermostats to control temperature so that higher than necessary temperature are not used for cooking holding or storing food using the right size of pans for quantities being prepared so that fuel is not wasted arrangement of work centers to avoid extra movements efforts to recycle heat given off from the kitchen for purpose of raising temperature of washing water would conserve lot of fuel arrangement of refrigerators away from kitchens would require less electricity to run them efficiently so till now i think i have uh, given you some tips on how what are the important aspects which has to be managed to have a effective resource management now to summarize to conclude i would say every catering establishments or institutions may find something to add to this list after evaluating their work areas for resource use because the factors covered are non are only guidelines for which to proceed what is important is the awareness of the fact that resources are always limited as against which are unlimited and therefore the best way to use resources should be discovered for each individual establishment thank you